Brainyard, we don't know if you've noticed, but you've got a pimple so big right under your nose that we're starting to wonder if you have three nostrils instead of two. Now, before you get any ideas of popping that bad boy with uh, one of your fancy pimple extraction tools, we should inform you that this is not a good idea. What if we told you that popping this sucker could be deadly? We're not exaggerating here, Brainyard. There is an area on your face dermatologists refer to as the triangle of death. If you pop a pimple incorrectly, this area could get seriously infected and cause you to die. But hold your horses. Before we get to death by pimple popping, we need to understand the basics of acne. So let's take a closer look at this skin of yours, Brainyard. Acne is a skin condition that occurs when hair follicles are plugged with oil, dirt, or dead skin cells. It can cause everything from whiteheads to blackheads, or the classic pimples, and usually appear on the face, back, chest, and shoulders, where most oil glands of the body are located. Despite popular belief, acne does not occur exclusively in puberty, although 80% of teenagers experience pimples and acne. For some adults, pimples are still a reality. About 3% of men and 12% of women past the age of 25 still get pimples. Research suggests that women are more likely to get adult acne due to hormones that accompany menstruation. But what exactly causes acne, specifically pimples? It's hard to answer this question with a single answer since everybody's skin reacts differently, and no two pimples are the same. But it is safe to say that hormones, diet, allergies, and the natural oiliness of your skin are just a few of the factors that affect acne. So what exactly are these alleged dangers of popping a pimple at home? Well, for starters, you're most likely not a professional. Dermatologists and others who do skin for a living are not only professionally trained to treat acne and pimples, but they also have the necessary tools and products to best treat the different types of acne at their various stages. Another reason why you shouldn't pop your pimples at home it can lead to permanent acne scarring or even infection. So what should you do instead of popping that enticing little pimple there, Brainyard? First things first, keep those hands away from your face. In our everyday lives, we carry around so much dirt on our hands and under our nails that some of the bad stuff is bound to worsen your acne. Once you've relieved yourself from the temptation of popping your pimples, reduce any inflammation or pain by icing the affected area. Finally, treat that acne with the appropriate treatments. Remember that results take time. We're talking four to six weeks here, and if you still don't see the results you were hoping for, then ring your dermatologist. But let's say you're still tempted to tackle that big, red, juicy pimple. Oh, you've watched Dr. Pimple Popper, and you know all the basics, and then some. You've decided to pop that sucker. Well, would you change your mind if we told you that that very pimple is on the area of your face called the Triangle of Death? In this area, you are more prone to getting deadly infection if you decide to pop your pimple. Why? Well, according to medical experts, picking at skin in this danger zone that stretches from the tip of your nose to either side of your lip can have serious implications to your overall health. The veins that run under your eye sockets lead back to the cavernous sinus, which is located at the base of the brain. If you were to pop a pimple with dirty hands or risk an airborne bacteria to infect the open wound, this could trigger serious infection. Dr. Sandra Lee, pimple popper herself, explains that in the worst case scenarios, if inflammation from a spot spreads to the inner part of the brain, there is a risk for blindness or stroke. Known as cavernous sinus thrombosis by medical professionals, this condition kills 30% of those who contract it. So for now, maybe stick to watching others, ideally professionals of course, pop pimples if you still seek that gushing satisfaction. Turns out there is a biological reason as to why these videos receive millions of views. According to research, when you pop your own pimples, your brain releases dopamine, that infamous feel-good neurotransmitter. This is because of the combination of physical and mental relief of popping pimples. It just brings us great neurological satisfaction. A similar sense of relief occurs from just watching someone else pop a pimple. Dr. Pimple Popper attributes the success of her YouTube videos for the same reason we like watching a scary movie. That rush of a cocktail of excitement, euphoria, and disgust is surprisingly satisfying. If you don't believe us, just look at the stats. Her YouTube channel has over 3 million subscribers and 3.7 million followers on Instagram. Her blackhead extraction, pimple popping, and cyst draining videos are estimated to have a total of 1.5 billion views. Listen, Brainyard, we know you've got a problem. You're addicted to pimple popping, and frankly, so are we. 
but it's probably best to keep those pesky pimples to the professionals. Acne is a normal part of life. But hey, who doesn't love a good glow-up? Later, Brainyard, 